Matrix? Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> uh, what a fitting, fitting intro. <laughs> Hello YouTube, this is Grim of Grim Gaming Network. This is Skagler of Grim Gaming Network. And today we're doing Indigo Prophecy, David Cage's original, original masterpiece. First start again, I guess. Oh man, new profile. Yeah. Wait, I started one here? That's great. It must have been a long time ago, and you know what? I did not finish it, and I know that for a fact. Is uh, my name still with one or two G's? I have spelled it with two. Okay, let's, let's do two. Jesus, people. Right. We're recording. What? What? Why is it a camera? Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It, it it's a recording instead of saving, right? New movie. Oh, all right. Okay. Are we doing the so if those of you, do yes, we're doing the tutorial. Right. For those of you who may <laughs> not know, David Cage fancies himself a director. The shooting say. Hi, my name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Indigo Prophecy. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. Do you have I'd like you to meet my friend. Bob. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Press start really quick. Options. You hit load. No, I didn't. Oh, didn't? Did you? Okay. Audio? No. Yeah. Do they have uh, that option? Uh, let's go back. <laughs> hit stop. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's do it over. <laughs> Should be in the main menu. Go to options. Subtitles. There we go. On. Yeah, okay. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Yeah. Alright. New movie. <laughs> Tutorial. So, yeah, this is David Cage. He's our hero and such. No, that's cool. Okay, so let's be cool. fair. He's not allowed to do movies, <laughs> so he tries to do video games. You may know him from such crocs of shit as uh, I'd like you to meet my Heavy Rain and him while you're Beyond Two Souls with and shit. And this probably. And many of you might think, what's wrong with those games? They are amazing. Mo they are amazing <laughs> video games. Well, just because it's like a movie doesn't mean that's a very good movie. What is this? What is this shit? I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Just move it. Move to the. Oh, move to the mark. Yeah. I was watching the blinky thing. You're like, what am I supposed to do? Ooh, ooh. Look at this creepy fucking thing. This is so terrifying. This should have been the whole game. <laughs> this should have been the whole game. <laughs> oh, these fuckers. <laughs> he has the props. So How would the <laughs> dude? He probably has the real props in real life. He probably does. As if it was a real movie. Yeah. Was this thing do? Because he's a director. He has to impress all those pretentious hipster girls he picks up. Oh, to move the camera. Okay, I remember. Yeah, this doesn't have the traditional move the left right stick. Well, actually, this is traditional. They used to do that. You can also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. What? Oh, oh you can. Cause, oh, because this does it. Oh, that's so stupid. It just brings it back like that. Oh. Like, ooh. But this you one, though. You <laughs> so you can do dramatic you shots. To <laughs> go to the door. Go to the door. I'll go to your face. Okay. Do you see the symbol at the top? Oh, of the I screen? hate. Oh, I hate that thing so much. You have to make to execute the action. That's cool. Now that you know that's cool. About, you know it's not cool. This game. He's so French. More serious stuff. Indigo prophecy has action sequences where your characters like. <laughs> you know, he reminds me a lot of Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. <laughs> we were both thinking it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, uh, whoa, wait, what's, whoa, go what's going on? Look at those abs. It means your character is oh, you have to do a fucking pull-up. I remember this. You'll be exhausted, too. 
Oh. <laughs> not when you masturbate as many as some of us. Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Indigo Prophecy. You're gonna need a cool head. God, he sounds like flat. Tommy was so. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy was so needs a game. <laughs> Don't talk. Oh, there is one. Oh, what? Yes. No. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> I'll remember the Simon bullshit. Uh huh. Don't touch me, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. You can also Jeez. look how unsynced his mouth it is. That's probably how he is in real life too. <laughs> what do you think of my friend Bob? Ew. <laughs> look at how how <laughs> sexy. Did you hear that? Right. I see you've got the hang of the dog. <laughs> he has no reaction to it. You have a limited amount of time to make up your mind, so you better think fast. Now, he makes he makes crash test dummies out of his critics. <laughs> oh, oh, the psychological meter. Oh yeah. When you're when oh. you're you're just sl you're just slightly depressed or anxious. Or you're overwrought. That was the other overwrought. One. Yeah. Every action will have consequences for the story. I think it's French seeped in over there. Think. Yeah. Right. Overwrought. That's it. No, overwrought. Yeah, it's a real everything. thing. I know, but it's not common. Oh, that's something true. Europeans would say. <laughs> I guess overwhelmed is a good like. You're entering the world where anything. Anything can happen. Or you could just write everything in. <laughs> with a voice. Or that good can't happen. or good story writing. <laughs> Something that doesn't just hype it up and make it look cool. Like to most of you, I shit you not, this game will look awesome the first few like maybe half an hour or something. And then it'll all go to shit. There's a point where it just Actually it's probably like halfway. Halfway through the game, yeah, and then you'll start. Going. I think it's when it's all the it, when all the supernatural bullshit and the Matrix crap starts yeah. to happen. You guys will see. You guys will see. I believed in humanity. Newspapers, soap commercials, politics, politics and history books. It's trying to be all epic, like it's fucking Fight Club. Like this guy, he had everything. He lost it all. <laughs> He found out he had a terrible, terrible disorder where these two people, <laughs> they made a fight club together, but we don't talk about fight club. <laughs> Whoops, the movie's called Fight Club, we're fucks. <laughs> By the way, spoilers, I hope none of you have never seen Fight Club. If you haven't, what's wrong with you? Watch it now, it's Christmas time, damn it. It's nothing that's to do true. with Christmas, but just do it it's anyway. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold during that movie. Like, I swear TV, that's like their only thing. If it's snowing, it's a, it's Christmas, a Christmas movie. movie. <laughs> that's why we're doing this game. It's snowing! Merry Christmas, fuckers! It's actually December right now, so... Oh, yeah, it is. Where yeah. Else we're actually not doing it before the time we're meant to be doing it. <laughs> And, oh, and actually, in England, this game is called, in, in Europe, this game is called uh, Fahrenheit. And remember how, through the story, it'll actually tell you, like, it's kind of like heavy rain. Remember how it keeps telling you the inches of mm -hmm. rain? In this one, it keeps telling you how low the Fahrenheit is getting. So it oh, actually becomes colder as it goes along. It's like becoming even more hardcore winner. Okay, any of you who have ever lived or have been to New York... Tell me this look. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. I see the bridges now. There's bridges. But oh. still, Manhattan is not this small. No, that's <laughs> not what Manhattan really looks like at all. <laughs> Directed by David Cage. Those of you who are there right now know what I'm talking about. This doesn't look like any borough I've ever fucking lived in or no, been in. Looks like the Midwest. <laughs> the diner and the shit. Midwest diner bathroom. Oh, some shit's going down. Uh oh. It's the crow man. You know they have a crow Funko Pop? Really? Yes. Oh. It's oh, awesome. That crow. I'm just thinking of a random crow. Oh, that crow. That right, that right there, yeah. No, they have a, a crow. Uh... Okay, for yeah. those that don't know, the uh, controller is vibrating <laughs> as if something really exciting is happening. It's like going ape shit as we speak. It's like, oh, it's going to explode in your hands. And, and what happens is not great. 
<laughs> oh, here we go. This is the point where you're like, what the fuck's going on? What is this? You know what, kids? Never explain. <laughs> no, you'll see. It will be, but you won't be satisfied. Not well. <laughs> Not well. If you are a fan of M. Night Shyamalan's later work, you might like this. Oh, you'll love this. They'll be like, how come this guy hasn't done work with M. Night Shyamalan? Really? They need to. <laughs> they, they need do to do something to. together. Terrible twists. <laughs> Look at that. Uninteresting protagonists <laughs> that sound of, like wooden as shit when they talk. <laughs> That's the end of my story. <laughs> I don't feel like playing guitar right now. <laughs> oh, and they got the lamest band to do the soundtrack. <laughs> Oh, God. He just came. <laughs> Who okay. the fuck is she? It's vibrating again. <laughs> Why is it vibrating? And there's a little girl there. I don't remember this bitch. Uh, Where did... Yeah, she's there. She's important. Ugh. So, yeah, we've both played this game. The Skagler got it as a gift from this girl oh, that he done. dated, and she was like, oh, it's the best game ever. Or right, just... <laughs> You're depressed now. Already depressed. The Raven's like, well, I'm out. Work here's done. Because he realizes this is going to end his career. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope you like that music. Get it used to it. Lot. It continues throughout the whole Wait. fucking... I almost that. called it a movie. Let's, <laughs> let's not do that to make David happy. Wait, what? I don't remember that. When the upper icon... Oh, that one where it says um, recording. It's, a, <laughs> it's saving your game because it's recording because it's a movie. Bomb. Also, later on in his career, when L.A. Noir came out, he talked shit... You're more depressed <laughs> because you couldn't reach the window. Oh, whoops. You're drying your already... Dr you're drying the, the blood, blood <laughs> into your hands so that you can never wash know, it off. I meant to do the trash can thing. No. That's just we need to make sure the evidence never goes away. Wait, I know there's something to do with the trash can somewhere. Well, you have to... Oh, no. <laughs> this should make him happy. This should make you... Usually after I've murdered people and I take a piss, I feel a little bit better about myself. Better than I did when the initial murder began. The knife. Or, you know, I've got to get rid of it. Usually, I feel great. <laughs> After banging some random hoe, you need to pee to get rid of the disease. Yeah. Although, then it burns, and then it reminds you of all the terrible decisions you've made. What did I do with the knife? Oh, they don't show you because you know it makes it ambiguous, <laughs> so that later on you may, even you won't be able to recollect. By the way, the girl that um, gave this to me, uh -huh. she uh, played this first part for me, and she's like, if you screw this up, it'll ruin the whole game. I'm like, what, finding the knife? No, all that happens is you get caught, and then he goes, that's the end of my story. <laughs> that's what she means by fucking up the, to this game. Oh, gosh. I don't know if finding the knife would fuck up, like, not finding it would fuck up the game. I'm not sure. I've never tried it. I've that? never had Okay, much... what was the point of that? There's still blood all over the fucking place. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Look at that street. There's blood over here. There. There's blood over there. Maybe that blood was already there before you got there, so you're like, oh, I don't need to clean that. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's from <laughs> that. I'm bleeding. With my forearms. I can't do this. I'm bleeding. God, put the sword in sink <laughs> Just flush it again. <laughs> you didn't want to. <laughs> Why is that even an option? Okay. So oh. many options! Oh, fuck. Oh! I'm covered in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Sure you can. Out of Oh, way. God! You're fucking with me. Really? <laughs> Why is that even an option? Blood orgies? You can go to a blood orgy? Okay. You'll fit in just fine. Whoops. Why do you feel better about yourself when the cop comes in? 
<laughs> you know, the guy you just saw, officer. Run, just run out. Oh, yeah. I forgot there was a lot. Or you can pay the... No. <laughs> <laughs> just skip out. Yes. <laughs> I knew there was something I was supposed to do. No! Oh just leave! They're, they're on to you! No, I remember. I was like, oh, I need to do something, but I don't want to do it. Oh, here's a taxi, right? Gotta get in the taxi. Skip town. <laughs> he, what a scumbag. He's just a little stressed out. Yeah, that was about to say. Go to Brooklyn. You'll be safe there. Look at all these mysterious characters that have no explanation. That will never have an explanation. You know what people in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn are great at doing? Staying the fuck out of your business. <laughs> you'll, you'll be safe there. Because they know they've done worse. <laughs> Whatever you've done, it's like, I remember that. I, just want I remember when I alone. murdered a dude and drew satanic symbols in a bathroom stall. I just want to be left alone after that. I'll let yeah. go. Look at this Look at those car. static tires that do not turn. It was just like floating like above. Donut. <laughs> What's wrong with the steering wheel? Did you see that? It wobbled. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for. Okay, stereotypical black guy. I know, isn't it terrible with Laker colored car even though you're in New York. Oh god. What isn't there a part later on where you play basketball and and like the white guy that you're playing against is dressed up in Lakers colors? <laughs> Nick Cage is just like this is a color from New York, yes? Okay. Let's do it. What do you mean New York is not in Los Angeles? <laughs> I thought they were the same city. <laughs> You mean California is not a city in New York? <laughs> okay. How's it going? I'm not sure, but I think he might be Evening, French. No, he's French. He's just straight up French. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. Probably a stabbing, from what I can see. Probably? Like it went down Look how drawn his face is. Like, it's literally just a floating picture. Uh, Any witnesses? Yeah, me. I was in the <laughs> Did you see it happen, you liar? <laughs> That's not a witness. Already left. You saw him. Do we have any idea on who might be the murderer? He was a client at the restaurant. I don't think I ever saw him here before. We should ask Kate. Thanks. Uh. Who is the victim? His name was uh, John Winston. What a regular here at the restaurant. What an uninteresting <laughs> name. What just a generic ass fucking name. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I don't think it'd just be open. Customers in the restaurant at Gosh, the this makes like yeah, two other takes guys. away all the fun of a murder. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. This is also done a million times better in L.A. Noir when you question people about the crime scenes and shit because there's not a stupid unnecessary line timer like oh you you fucked up you can't ask any more questions where the fuck would they go you're the cops they can't just be like well officer it's been it's about that time you can't ask me any more questions yeah exactly it's over murder you need to take some time to think about what you're fucking going to do but they're like nope it's about that time officer. Uh, uh, there's a uh, guarantee the police station has 30 seconds or less. You can't ask me any more questions about this, this crime. I may or, drive through. <laughs> may or may not have committed. Can I talk to this bitch now? Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. It probably would have been a good idea to go in there, but fuck it. You know, it doesn't matter anyway. Can answer a few questions? <laughs> no. Go ahead. You. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. God damn! <laughs> You've been wasting your life Don't worry, she goes to school on the weekends. She's like 40-something! <laughs> it takes a long time. Fucking NYU. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to it. That's what they said about Hitler. 
That's what they said about Jeffrey Dahmer. That's what they said about, uh, what's his name? The clown killer. You can only get in the front door. Oh, what? John, John Wayne? Wayne Gacy. John Wayne? Yeah. That's what they said about John Wayne. <laughs> Before he murdered all those people. That's canon. You remember when that happened? We all remember. Tell me about John Wayne. John and the suspect knew each other? No. Cause I don't even I don't care anymore. I'm just clicking random shit. It seemed like it was some sort of satanic ritual. <laughs> also, I hate that there's just pentagrams everywhere just to fuck with you. Cause you know, if you're like me, like pentagrams are the cheesiest bullshit you can do. Okay, we know we have a pentagram on the channel, but come on. <laughs> well, that's that's why that's a joke, people. <laughs> because it's like, hey, you want to make a movie about a killer that's bad? He's made immediately in the eyes of Christians a hundred times worse just by drawing a stupid pentagram. And you know, murderers love pentagrams. Murderers love pentagrams. We love pentagrams. <laughs> we love pentagrams. Grim Gaming Network, we love pentagrams. <laughs> Oh god, if, cheer up. if we ever- <laughs> cheer up! <laughs> and it's like a little pentagram with like, it's a Baphomet symbol. <laughs> and Baphomet is like smiling and it's like, hey, cheer up. You know, we, we need, um, if we ever do get merch, if we get there, I will definitely make those into shirts. That'd be beautiful. What happened you then? forgot to pay the bill, that bastard! I just ran off oh, he's in for it now! The chair! The chair! <laughs> what do you mean New York is a liberal state? Do I don't give a fuck. We'll find some way to fry him. <laughs> no. It was just a night like any other. Yes, it's just as interesting. Just a night like any other, you know, murders. People skipping out on their bills. Well, that's... That happens a lot of yeah, shit. Sure. Yes, I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. He I also didn't... had like pentagrams cut into his <laughs> arms. <laughs> he had one of those little like kids you think that you would recognize drawing crayon things that we give out at diners and he was drawing pentagrams all over the place. Do you think that you could come down <laughs> He wrote it in all the menus. Yeah. I didn't even think of anything. He was writing in Aramaic time. for yeah. some reason. Seemed perfectly like normal. I don't know what happened. He wrote <laughs> He wrote Adam Lilith on it somewhere. Gosh, he just keeps talking. People like that just don't deserve to live. How dare he not tip me? Try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Hey, you wanna fuck? I'll, <laughs> I'll take good care of you. <laughs> It'll all be okay. I'll make you forget all about the murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! That's great! I didn't know you could do that! I wasn't trying. All right, oh, you can switch to Kevin! Yeah. Or right, what's his name? Um, <laughs> fuck whoever his name I think her name's like Carla Gugino or something. Tyler! Yeah, don't make me laugh, Garrett. My lips are chatting. That's. T <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, why is he less stressed? Like, you're investigating a murder. I don't know, and also he's like, WHAT IS UP WITH THAT DUDE'S FACE?! It looks like one of those memes where they shrink their faces in. Why are we talking about his girlfriend? Yeah. Remember how his girlfriend's just like... Just like, let's dance romantically and then fuck. <laughs> They have porn music for him. <laughs> Every time they bang. Oh, it's, it's great. It's like dun 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 It's got like heavy 70s bass. It's great. This is the window from the toilets in the restaurant. Good observation. <laughs> fire. Yeah, warm yourself up in the fire. Just become homeless. Just give up on <laughs> being a cop. You look like a homeless person almost. <laughs> Ah, oh, here we go. It's winter, everyone just is like that. 
Everyone dresses kind of like that in New York. I was wondering, you didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight, did you? Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. Shake him down. <laughs> right. Depressed. Well, oh, he's anxious because he didn't want to help. Why do homeless people lack cops? There's another Probably because you assholes are charged to take vagrants off the street. <laughs> Shouldn't he like lean up against that can instead? You think? Oh god! Is it is the stick that's doing it? Oh, why is it vibrating? <laughs> He's depressed because he couldn't open the door. <laughs> I hope he gets more depressed. <laughs> I hope so too. That'd be great. Okay. Oh, it doesn't do it again. I think I could be this chick and open it for him. <laughs> what mechanics? Surely David Cage is a genius. Is that you making all that noise? Yeah, I make a lot of noise when I'm freezing to death. Look at him on his <laughs> smartphone before there were <laughs> smartphones. The What's wrong with her eyes? What's wrong with his eyes? Sometimes he's unpredictable, but oh no, yeah, he's she's a good guy. Oh, the whole thing. God, she looks like she wants to bang him. Look at him on his smartphone That'd before be cool there were smartphones. If he could, because then he would be less depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then he'd go home and his girlfriend would be like, "I love you so much," and he'd be like, "Oh, I'm depressed." Tyler. And then that smell your dick song would be playing. <laughs> no, I don't want to leave. Oh, and fuck. Smell your dick. <laughs> I left before checking the room. Oh, okay, we're okay. good. You haven't done shit. Alright, I'm going to make him do it so he could be less depressed. I think they both find different things, if I recall. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. For oh. some reason, one can't think. I guess it's supposed to be like... Oh, you know, they have different personalities. This one would check the toilet, but this one wouldn't. Oh, I hope this guy flushes. <laughs> he does! <laughs> Let's make him do it again. Why? Why was that an option? There's blood on he the floor! He could have flushed the evidence down for all he knows. Okay. Oh, he's gonna do the thing where he looks in the mirror like, Ooh, look at me. Look how fucking badass I am. I think there's some blood in the sink. Yeah, but you didn't notice the one near the toilet. <laughs> yeah, could be. Do you know if anyone It could be. Not as far as I know. Why is she on her oh. like Blackberry? I'll take you. You're supposed when to be having a case man. When did this come out again? Like oh six? It said, it said oh five. Oh five? Did we have Blackberries right. already? Well he still has I think they play. came out. I just don't think they did anything. No. I don't know. They look like smartphones before smartphones were out, honestly. That is an angry looking toilet. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait, no. Back away. Just look how angry the toilet looks. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. <laughs> I think she's the one who's supposed to be smarter. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's <laughs> Look, blood. He used blood here. He's too busy flushing. He literally <laughs> flushed it. And was like, nope, nothing weird here. <laughs> Maybe Nick Cage is trying to spread like. She feels tense this. now. She feels better about herself, but she's tense. Get Garrett to analyze it. We'll know for sure. You know, maybe he could have programmed them to be different on the situation because it doesn't make any sense to be tense or depressed mm -hmm. during this. Unless everybody in this game is emotionally unstable as fuck. Sure they are. <laughs> it's because they're in this game in the first place. What if David Cage was directing this and he's like, Oh, no, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> How come she didn't feel better about herself? Go ahead, take a piss in the urinal. <laughs> Just squat down over it. Is that one of those condom dispensers? This is a trash can. No, the other one. Uh, the dryer? No. Yes. <laughs> That's great. They, why do they look so reeky? Like, I wouldn't trust that thing. Oh, she didn't go in here. Okay. So she 